Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary folks. I am Brandon Pilcher, your host, and today we will be playing the game Zero AD, an open source, free, real-time strategy game in the tradition of Age of Empires, and uh, s numerous other, well, okay, I'm sorry, I'm not a very articulate speaker, I'm not, this is unscripted, so uh, I'm going off the cuff here, so forgive me if I don't sound very polished here. But anyway, Zero ID is a is a real-time strategy game in the tradition of Age of Empires and Warcraft and so on. But it is unique in that it is free and open source. It is made by Wildfire Games, as you can see the logo at the bottom of the menu. And they are it's been a work in, it's still a work in progress, but they're um it's a work. It's been a work in progress for a little over a decade, and it's still unfinished. But right now, it's more or less playable, and people are already making mods for it, including Delinda Est, which adds a bunch of playable civilizations. Mind you, the base game already has a handsome selection of civilizations, such as the Romans, the uh, Potomac Egyptians, the various Greek city-states, the Seleucids, the Persians, a couple of Celtic tribes, in the Kingdom of Kush which was ancient Egypt's biggest rival in Africa. However, the Delinda S mod adds a bunch of new features as well as um, some new civilizations. It also includes the base of, uh, of a new civilization called the Noba, who are based on the Nuba people of Sudan, who are, li they live in the, west, in the Nuba hills of western Sudan, west of the Nile. And, uh, however, even though the rudiments of that civilization are already in Delinda Est, they still need a lot of additions to make them fully playable, and that's what I've done with this mod. So basically what I've done is make a mod within a mod by making the Noba fully playable. It was a lot of work, and I want to showcase it here. It's, it, I don't, as of this recording, it has not been made available for download yet, because, frankly, it still needs a bit of a testing, but I want to show you what I have so far. So right now we are playing the Nova against the Imperial Romans, that is Rome when it became an empire and stopped being a republic. And on the map, on the Latium map, with a with a population cap of 500 and high and high resources, the victory will be domination, which means we'll have to capture which. All the enemy's civic centers, which are basically like their town centers. The, their civic centers are in zero D. The town center, what town centers are in Age of Empires. Now it's time to get started. That little text at the top is apparently is a bug with the Delinda S mod. It's not fatal. It doesn't crash the game. I just don't know. I haven't been able to get rid of it though. It, it's not really this mod I'm doing, it's the Delinda S mod, so, well, okay. To clarify, the mod I made that makes the Nuba playable is not available for download yet, but Delinda S, the larger mod, is. Anyway, here we have our Nuba settlement. We're going to start by having, uh, well, first we'll have these soldiers, these Nuba warriors, build a little town. These new, but they're basically in my mod. In my mod within a mod, there are basically uh, two. There are basically three types of of foot soldiers that the Nova can train: javeliners, spearmen, and uh, clubmen. Now we start with javeliners and clubmen, but we can train spearmen later. And here's the scout. I've tested to gather food. Now it's time to raise more villagers. Might make it at the house here. Forgive me if I don't narrate that much. It would probably get annoying if you heard my voice over and over again. Now we're going to build a corral, which is kind of the Nuba stable, which is. It raises, it grows both livestock as well as scout units. 
You'll sell you'll find even more use for it later once we've up we've advanced through the game. Now, one unique feature of the Nova, if I, as I kind of designed them, is that their Civic Center works as both a town center, a barracks, and a market, which means that traders can pass can pass to and fro them in, in exchange resources. But, however, in, in this mod, however, this in this particular game session, uh, we don't have any play, allied players to trade them with, so that they'll so we won't really bother with the trading. And some maps, there are, you know, NPC markets that you can capture and trade with, but not in this particular map. Not in this particular map type. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use it. But one of our scouts, scouts gathers meat, um, the other will be, uh, um, the, the scouting to see where the Romans and other are, are as well as the terrain and so forth. I was just drinking Coke Zero. That's uh, my favorite soft drink. It's kind of like re it's kind of like real Coke, but it doesn't have the sugar. So, but it tastes a lot. But in my opinion, it tastes a lot better than Diet Coke. So, basically, it, it's Diet Coke. The closest Diet Coke can come to real Coke. This map doesn't really have a lot of... Okay, here's some chickens. I know so far the Latvia map doesn't really have a lot of wild game on it, but I, maybe I just haven't seen it yet. I forgot to test some villagers to st gather stone and uh, metal, and I'll be doing that right now. After I Okay, we finally found the sea, so we just need to find the, which is a good supply of fish, so we just need to find the Romans. It should be somewhere further south, I guess. Maybe that or east. Granaries are kind of small, but they're basically act as both storage for food and other resources, which is kind of neat. It's not, I mean, most other civilizations, uh, they have a, a farmstead, which is where they store food, and a, uh, 
in a storehouse, which was where they store wood, stone, and uh, metal. Now, it might be a good idea. I'm going to add some towers now. They'll look really cool when they're fully upgraded, but right now they're just wooden. They're just generic wooden. Little wooden towers, generic wooden towers so far. their base. We're not going, we might raid them later just to harass them while we build up our main army, but not right now. We don't have enough soldiers to do that. So we might, you know, um, either there's a patch of berry bushes elsewhere, or we'll have to. Actually, it might be a good idea to build a dock. Might be a good. But I want to keep now most of my soldiers here in case the Romans launch a raid. build a little dock on the coast. This is the, the dock, the Nuba dock is actually based on the dock that the Britain civilizations already in the game has. It's I just retextured it. You'll see what it looks like when it's fully built, but now we're just waiting for it to be complete. I was, I was going to say it might be a good idea to build a tower to the northeast, but we, I see we don't have uh, enough wood for that, so that will have to wait. My scalp that ran a foul of that ran a foul of It's not like the Romans were attacking my base, so never mind. Okay, here's my dock. It's now complete. Yeah, check it out. I know the barrel doesn't look very new, but but it was part of the props that the that the Celtic Brit the Celtic. Uh, Dock head, and I found when it got rid of it, it also got rid of the door, which looked kind of weird. So, you know, so I left it. Now we just have to wait till we raise more wood. We just need to wait till. Okay, here's the new buff fisherman. He's going to uh, get some fishies. Because, you know, that's great for our supplementing our farming.
this queen to claim it? Do it on this land. Wait until we have enough wood to advance in the next era. Might look out for Roman patrols just in case. icon on the mini map. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not in a hurry. Okay, now Romans are attacking our scout now. We should see if we can get away before they help it find our base. Okay, now I can advance to the town phase. You know, the next stage, so to speak. advance to the town phase we're going to build a little new Nova Temple. Now this Nova Temple doesn't look that impressive. It looks like they're even smaller huts than the normal huts, but trust me, it's powerful once you we have it built. It can, it's where you, tr uh, not only can you train healers in this game in, as the Nova, but you can also train uh, tame lions from the temple, as well as a hero you know who will become available once we reach the next age, which is the city age, or should I say city phase, since they're called phases rather than ages of zero AD. Okay, he has a tame lion, which is, you know, basically a pet lion that you can have fight alongside your warriors. They can be both male or female. It's it's about a 50% chance of being male and being female. It, but the stats aren't really that different between the sexes for our purposes. And now we see that the Noba have finally upgraded our towers. It's really... I have to say, the Noba tower I made looks really cool. It's based on the British tower, but we textured to look more African. So, yeah, it's... I say it came out looking pretty cool if I don't say so, but if I may toot my own horn. I will say though that the lions and zero AD, both these tame ones and the default wild ones already in the game, they have really wonky anim walky animations and they don't seem to sprint. And when they attack, they're just biting you rather than you know swiping with their claw paws as a real lion should. But unless I am go uh, the tame lion is a cool concept that I'm keeping in for my Nova. I'm going to break a healer unit next, uh, all the which is... Just to show you how, what it looks like. It kind of looks like the default Kushite healer, but with feathers on his head and a painted face. 
Anyway, he is healing my scout. He, as you can see, he's healing my scout. Okay, we have a lot of stone right now, so we could uh, we could theoretically advance the city age. Another structure we can build is a is the Blemmy Camp. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Blemmy Camp, which is basically cut in, for for the Nova my mod, they double as a. Not only you hire Blemmy mercenaries, the Blemmys being ancestors of the Beja people of Sudan, but you also uh, they also research you know military texts like uh, it's kind of like the forges for other civilizations in the game. Yeah, it's kind of where you upgrade your soldiers' attack and armor and so on. Okay, I'm going to advance to the city age right now since we have enough stone. Maybe research some more techs. We just advanced the city phase, and I'll show you a couple of really cool units in a while. The first is the the first heroine we character is the Nova Warrior Queen, which is kind of their hero unit. Who you know not only boosts the attack of soldiers in her vicinity, she's also she throws javelins. She looks really cool. I really very fond of her look myself. She'll pop up. We're training her right now. And the second is. A Nova War Elephant, which is a kind of a fantasy unit that that the El that they they use that's basically a their version of a war elephant that attacks that you know is has covered in war paint. Sorry, I'm stum stumbling again. Okay, here's the Nova Warrior Queen. Can't really get very close right now, but man, she is a beauty. She's the scantily clad, beautiful African warrior queen. You know, my kind of lady. This side. Uh, you can't really get really close to her, unfortunately. And here's the war elephant. Which is also has a lady riding it. I really have to say, I'm really proud of how the war paint came out when I was making this. Well, I didn't make the actual model, I just changed the texture a bit, but I have to say it came out really cool looking. Maybe I say so myself. We'll train a couple of elephants. The elephants uh, being the Nova's siege weapons. and then maybe build up our army, our main infantry a little bit, and then we'll be off to attack the Romans and, you know, cause the real fall of the Roman Empire. It wasn't filthy barbarians from the north that, that caused the Roman Empire to fall. It was filthy. Okay, I wouldn't call Nova people filthy, since, you know, that sounds kind of racist, since, you know, calling a black person filthy is, of course, comes across as racist, and... You know, okay, oh, let's just not call barbarians filthy in general. Okay. I'm sorry if I offend anyone there. I, uh. I'm sorry. I'm 
sorry about the ladies and uh, the uh, barbarians to the north. Uh, England, sorry, I don't like offending people. I'm not always politically correct, but I don't like offending people without cause. a bit. Might build another field just to get a food supply going since we're low. Pretty good on the other resources, but food is something we're really low on, so. Okay, let me see if we can kick some going, but we train it on lion. Okay, that's is kind of weird. Our uh, arm got punched up there. We'll spread it out a bit. You know, we might add some more mercenaries too, just to round out our army a bit. And then we'll add a vendor, which one, um, mark install, which is basically an addition in the Dolan, in the Dolan the S mod that you know lets you generate another resource, which is coin, which is coin is the resource that you use to buy mercenaries and recruit mercenaries like the Blemies. to be, if it's not done, it should be pretty close. I'll make sure uh, we have an accident left of the new villagers. Man, I really have liked it when real time strategy games let you, when you select a group of units on the map, you don't, you automatically don't select the villagers, so they don't, uh, don't automatically end up joining your soldiers. That's a feature this game, unfortunately, does not appear to have. But when, in, when other games have it, it's really cool. Soldiers are marching to sack the Roman Empire. Yeah. Time to attack. We'll have our the Romans have built a fortress. So. Yeah, elephants come in handy as siege units in the siege, you really do. Now to attack the Roman Civic Center. Mm. 
Pretty much crushed the Roman army and now we are capturing their town center. All your base are belong to us. You zoomers should look up that meme. It's a classic. All your base are belong to us. Indeed. And indeed all our base are belong to us. Rome has fallen. Not to barbarians from the north, but to brave warriors and a valiant warrior queen from the south. And that was the, no, the playable Noba mod, on the Del which is a mod for the Delinda S mod for the game Zero D. This is Brandon Pilcher signing off. Thank you and goodbye.